Hello pretties, welcome to Instagram. So we are doing my half neutral, half colorful eyeshadow collection um, kind of thing that I'm doing right now. So yeah, uh, I've come to realize that these are my favorite kinds of palettes. I don't want it to be too neutral, I don't want it to be too colorful, I want just a little bit of a mix of both. I don't want colors that I can easily make more wearable and I can easily intensify it if I wanted to. So that's really my favorite kind of palettes. I will say that for this specific uh, category, for a palette to be considered half neutral, half colorful, it had to be a minimum of 40% uh, color in that palette. This quickly, quickly um, took out of the running the Yes Please palette, the Wild Nothings palette, and surprisingly the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, the original one. Because this is actually only about 20% colorful, which I know. You're like, what? <laughs> but yeah, there's only about questionably 10 to 11 shades, and I said questionably because if you want to count this cranberry uh, as a colorful shade. There's really just these three pinks, which some people wouldn't even consider that colorful. So that's three. This little corner right here, that's seven. Um, this two right here, eight. Uh, sorry, can't count nine. Um, sorry. And then this yellow right here, ten. So ten, questionably eleven with this cranberry one here. So And this 35 palette. Uh, so yeah, it did not meet, meet the threshold. Uh, I know. Shocking. Very shocking. Because uh, that, that was one of the first ones that I thought about, and then I was making the math, and I'm like, this is mostly neutral, <laughs> after all, so, okay. Um, Alright, so I only have a handful of palettes to talk about. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically seven. Um, and I'm going to go into that right now. So, these two are two mini palettes. Um, so, there's two. Uh, clearly not, <laughs> not the same palette. But they did come in a bundle, and I have the packaging thing in the back, and I can go get it, but I don't want to because I'm lazy right now. Um, so, anyway, these two essentially came together, and one is Boss Babe right here, and is as neutral as can be. She's a neutral Nelly, and its counterpart is Party Animal, and she is a rainbow bitch, okay? And together, they're a half neutral, half colorful palette. Again, I know they're technically two separate palettes, but the way the bundle came, they kind of came together and then you kind of slid them both out individually. But yeah. Um, similar to the same color story, or actually quite exactly the same, where I feel like it's almost like two individual palettes, uh, but they're just kind of packaged together. And that is the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie. Um, so this is the colorful side. I actually did this eye look with this. I was having a moment. Um, and yeah, so this is a colorful one, and then if you turn it, you know, kind of flip it, then you have your neutral side. And I feel like the color source are actually somewhat similar, obviously without the coral, but I just feel like it's pretty much the exact same thing, which is, once I thought of this, I was like, yeah, I have to include this because they're kind of the same thing. Um, so, yes. Next, one of my favorites, um, and it's currently in my eyeshadow obsessions, Project Pan, and it's this one right here. Um, it it's like barely barely you made the threshold in the amount of colors but it does help that it's a smaller palette we have independent uh confident here is actually quite purpley you just can't quite see it driven and unique i have unique actually in my inner corner and you can never see my my inner corner and i actually spent so much time in the corner but you can never see it because of my glasses so let's just move on um, and then you have Empowered. I was going back and forth about Passionate, but I did decide to count Passionate as a colorful shade. And yes, so, you know, love, love the formula. Unbeatable, unbeatable formula. So one that's brand new to me, and I really don't have too much to say about it because I haven't played with it too much. I'm just going to take this right here, is the um, ABH and Jackie Anna palette. This is the first ABH palette I own, but it was on sale on Christmas Day uh, for 30% off, and it was just over $30. And guess what the free, uh, the threshold for free shipping in the ABH website is? $30. So it was perfect. It was it was so perfect. So I got it. Um, super colorful palette. There's lo lots of colors. There's these shades right here. You have these ones right here. Um, Shigginton. Lituation, sorry, this is Shikaton right here, sponsored, 
so many colors, but still some neutrals. I feel like Dollars is actually Dwala, sorry. It's a little bit more neutral than you may think. Uh, so is Sami and Soleil. I actually think that Pinker is actually a lot more neutral. Like more, it's not neutral, but it is neut more neutral than you may think. Um, it, it's anyway, it's there. And then you obviously have credit edges and ginger. This is pretty much almost like half and half. But love, love, love this palette. Um, so far, the looks that I've tried with it, I, I've really enjoyed. So I just gotta mess with it some more. All right, let, let's go with one that it was it's cute and simple, so it might as well get out the way. And it's the Lara Lee um, Sleigh Bell palette. So you have literally three shades, Jolly, Wrapped Up, and Cherry Chocolate, and then you have Festive, Wishless, and Bright Lights as the other half of the neutral -like spectrum, and then the colorful one. Um, I've said this before, and I'll say this again, I really, really wish that instead of having Wishlist, we would have had like a mid-brown tone in here, like a mid-tone brown, to help blend that Cherry Chocolate. Just because cherry chocolate is so intense, you have no transition. Now you can very easily like, be you know, like really go like easy with that blend, and it won't look so bad. But it's just so in your face. I just wish we had a transition in the middle. But this is one of the cutest half and halves that I have, and that shade Jolly. I don't have anything like that. It's quite unique. Um, one of our newer palettes that just came out is the Robert Christie X Color Pop palette, and I am loving the f out of this. This is technically more colorful than neutral. It's almost rainbow, but not quite there yet. You still have, it's, it's honestly the transitions that it's like they could be colorful, but they could also be like neutral. It just depends how you take it. Um, so these transitions right here at the top, they're just perfect. You can go a million directions starting from these four shades right here. I know rainbow might be a little bit deep for some people to be a transition shade. I personally, if I just go soft with it, I can make it a transition shade for me. Um, but I know that some people may not be able to do that. Anyway, just putting that out there. This is just... I just feel like the creativity that comes to mind with this palette right here is outstanding. There is so many different things to do. You can do a purple look, a cool tone, you know, like more soft pink, and then you can do something completely different, more yellow tone, more warm tone, or you can just do something very green and bold, or there's just so much to do. I honestly believe that this same eye look that I had, I could have recreated something very similar with this palette. So, just saying, I, I use a Pure X Raw Beauty Christie, not, I mean, they're both Raw Beauty Christie, so I guess. I think I could have done something similar. Um, and I feel like this is the ultimate, like, palette when it comes to, like, half neutral, half colorful. Like, I don't think there's anything more half neutral, half colorful than So Jaded. Um, I, again, this is similar to At Foresight, where it definitely leans more colorful than neutral. But the neutrals are still there. You have Royal Jewels, Royal Squirts, My Precious. Uh, Satrine? I don't say that wrong. Pearl, uh, You're a Gem, Geodude, Carmelian. So you definitely have your neutrals there. And then you can do a neutral with like a slight pop. Like it's like this, there's some shades that could go either way. Like they can be colorful and they can be more neutral. And that can be like Moonstone, uh, Tigra is. I don't know, this this shade just came out of the left fill for me, but Tigra is my absolutely favorite shade in the entire palette. And you look at this and you're like, there's so many other things that you can be looking at. I know, but there's something about Tigra, the dual chromeness, that like olive grunginess to it that I just, I fell in love with. I absolutely fell in love with. So there's that. Um, but, and then you obviously have your crazy colors, you know, like Alexandrite, Emerald, um, I will say though, I do feel like these two shades are slightly dissimilar. Um, there's different in undertones and all that. And then I said this a million times. So Onyx is just beautiful navy. It makes my eyes look like a galaxy. And the best way I like to use this shade is to just put it on my finger, put it all over my lid, just have like a nice transition shade, and then just bam in your face. And it's beautiful, beautiful shade. So I am loving the hell out of this palette. Um, so glad I bought it. I. It took me like a year to actually buy this palette. I just did not want to like bite the bullet. And I'm so glad I did. Loving the hell out of it. And that is it. 
I would like to say that I have more have neutral have colorful palettes but the truth is I don't there's some that I'm like there's some color in them similar to like the Jaclyn Hill where I was when I first thought about it I was like oh there's so much color there and then I went and like really looked at it and I'm like it's not it, it really isn't it's more like 10 15 percent so I have a lot of like pops of color in palettes but not necessarily half neutral half, half colorful and what i've noticed is these are my favorite kinds of shades to wear um if you watch my ranking for you know my all my palettes i i did one in december top two right here and granted i didn't really have the ja the jacqueline hill palette uh jacqueline hill, the, the um oh my god jackie Ina. did i say jacqueline hill when i first mentioned it if I did, I meant to say Jackie Aina. <laughs> My bad. Um, I didn't have this palette at that time. Um, I only had the at 4 si for relatively recent, so I don't have a lot of opinions on it yet. Um, and I, even though I've had the Pure Extra Beauty for a while now, I really haven't matched with it too much, at least not the colorful side. I've used the hell out of the neutral side. Um, not that you can tell. I will say that I've noticed this, because. Uh, I did this look most with this palette is that the colorful side is significantly significantly more loose pressed so there's so much more kick up than there is with the neutral side it's probably because it's a pressed pigment palette and they're trying to let you like build that color but still anyway just putting that out there um I just love this kind of palette I feel like if I couldn't like if I had to like restart my eyeshadow palette this five right here, this four right here will be one of the first ones I buy. Um, I, I I do love neutrals, which is what I mostly have. But anyway, just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. Um, anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe to so become a resident of Estoril. I know I rambled a little bit towards the end. Please forgive that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.